Another hot and humid day across the province in Toronto, even warmer than it was yesterday. I'm enjoying the sun while I can, but lots of shade and then with my Irish skin, lots of sun cream, yeah, is definitely needed. The GTA sweltering under a heat warning that is expected to stick around longer. People trying their best to keep cool. You know, on days like today, many people try and spend as little time outside as possible. That is not always an option, though. Some asylum seekers who came to Canada for a better life are now sleeping on the sidewalk outside a Toronto intake center. More now from our City Hall reporter, Matthew Bingley. Matt. Alan, uh, I spoke to with one man who arrived from Nigeria today. He came straight from the airport and then onto the hot sidewalk just down the road. It is the same for many other asylum seekers as they are out into the elements. In this case, a heat warning. All well, a battle wages on between the city and the federal government. This has been the reality of people arriving in Canada looking for a better life. A spot on the sidewalk outside Toronto's shelter assessment and referral centre. I mean, I was homeless back home, but I didn't expect for my new venture or a new start in life to put me right back in the same shoes. This man, who we're calling Roy to protect his identity, says so far the image of Canada he was sold on hasn't lived up to its reputation. I chose Canada because I, you know, felt Canada, you yeah, know? I yeah. felt like Canada would be the place. I've cried like 10 times for the 10 days I've been here. But yeah, I've been just sleeping outside. About a third of Toronto's shelter spaces are occupied by refugees, but the city has been at odd with the Trudeau government to foot the bill. It's not enough to say, but we gave you some money. Clearly, it wasn't enough. Um, and this is a federal responsibility, and they can't shirk it any longer. Several requests to address the issue have gone ignored, and a city policy recently changed. It now refers asylum seekers back to the feds, resulting in a feedback loop where desperate people are spending weeks waiting on the hot sidewalk. These are human beings, and we have a collective responsibility. We shouldn't even be playing political football with this. The incoming mayor calls the situation unacceptable. The federal government is not paying a cent right now for refugees' housing, period. I want to remain uh, optimistic to say that the federal government and the provincial government will come to the table. But how will Chow get funding where other city leaders have tried and failed? What are the barriers and how do we get through them? That's going to be job one for Olivia Chow as she takes office in the coming days. Now, heat is obviously a factor at the moment. Uh, Roy, who we were speaking with, dealt with dehydration. He was trying to find his way to an Ontario Works location and got lost along the way. Luckily, he found some water after that. But, of course, these people have been outside this location for weeks, facing all of Toronto's elements. One man I spoke to who has arrived from Uganda says that they were dealing with torrential downpours when he, in the two weeks rather, that he's spent outside this location.